Hello everyone, this is Sergio Martinez with the McNeil Miami Rhino Fab Studio. I'm going to go ahead and extrude these uh, shapes into uh, solids here to create a knob that we will be uh, 3D printing. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hexagon here. Uh, I'm going to erase that. Uh, 0 0.0625, which is a sixteenth of an inch. We're going to move that up and extrude it up. Doesn't really matter how high, just something like that. Uh, next, I'm going to take that circle, I'm going to move it down. Then, uh, using uh, the same, I'm going to move it all the way up and hold control so that I get an extrusion. And there I have my the negatives that I will use to form the holes here on the knob. Now I'm going to take the outline of the knob and extrude it to uh, 5 16 5 slash 16. There we go. Now since I move this part up a 16th of an inch, I need to move the top face of this a 16th of an inch. So I'm going to select that face by holding uh, control shift and clicking on that face only. Then I'm going to click the arrow and type 0.0625. And that goes up a 16th of an inch. So now I am going to do a Boolean difference. From here, remove this one. And there I have the hexagonal opening. And then I'm going to do an extrude, not an extrude, a solid uh, Boolean split. So from this guy, split this guy. I can then delete and delete. And now I have uh, this uh, set up the way I want. Now the bolt fits here and leaves me a eighth of an inch space, which will fit the cap that covers the hole. So I'm going to extrude it to... Uh, an eighth of an inch, one slash eight. There we go. Now, in order to make it look nicer, I'm going to add some radiuses. Uh, so I'm going to add a variable radius fillet uh, along the top edge. I'm going to chain edges. Uh, I set it to 0 0.0625, and I'm going to hit enter. And there I have a very nice little radius all the way around the top edge. And maybe maybe do something along the bottom also, just to make it smoother and easier to remove from the 3D printer. I'm going to add a very small radius down there, maybe like uh, 0 0.03. Uh, set all. There we go. Nice little radius there, so the spatula can go under easier when I'm removing it from the 3D printer. Uh, next, I'll add an eighth of an inch to the little cap over here, all the way around. Actually, 0 0.03 probably works. This will allow it to slide in here much easier when it comes time to cover the bolt. And this is the end. Uh, the bolt will go right in there and drop in there. The cap head will stay inside there, and then this will cover it, and it will look nice and solid. Thank you.